Good morning guys. Okay, so it's uh, Monday evening, it's about 4 p.m. and the guys have been on the roof all day. Uh, last week's video that came out, I recorded I think earlier on the Sunday. So they had quite a bit of the Sunday left doing the roof and they've been on it all day today. So I will spin you around and let you see what's happening. Uh, you'll see that there's nobody been doing any brickwork and I believe this is a safety thing. Uh, while the guys are working on the steel on the roof, the, the, the builder doesn't want anybody underneath them. Uh, so they're no starting the brickwork until all the steel frame works up. Once they start putting the smaller metal struts in to support the tiles, then they'll, they'll come back and they'll start doing the brickwork. It also gives the floor under the, the living room a little bit more time to, to set. So I'll spin you around guys and let you see what's happening. Okay, so you'll see there's a number of beams that are now up and you can start to see that there's uh, some shape taking form on the roof. I'm actually going to walk further away and uh, if I'm being honest it's actually not a good time to be filming it because the sun's really low. So it's quite a complex shaped roof. There's lots of lots of little angles and bits that come down. I think there's about six or seven in total, all angling down in different directions. So this is why it's taken them so long. But they're cracking on with this quite quick. So I will take a wee walk around the back. I'm going to switch this camera off and I'll put it back on when I get around the back. And the reason. Okay, guys. So this is the back of the house. And you'll be able to see what I mean uh, about all the, the different little angles that are coming down. But it's taken shape. And I'm sure the guys will be back probably in a couple of days time to start doing the brickwork. The floor underneath, the living room's drying nicely, setting nicely. So that's it for Monday guys. I will uh, talk to you in a second, uh, which will be tomorrow for me. Hey guys, it is Tuesday the 31st of January and it's a glorious day, the weather's totally changed, it's just absolutely rocketed up. It's up to about 33, 34 degrees today and it's not due to drop below sort of 20 tonight so not so good sleep's coming. Anyway, the guys have been here all day doing the roof, I've taken some drone shots. I am trying out this Saramonics mic that you'll see pinned here it's got the uh, the dead cat on it not that I need it because there's absolutely no wind today so I will spin you around guys and let you see what's uh, what's going on or what's been going on okay so the guys are still here concrete in the posts I think they've done all the ones all the ones up here. So when these blocks come off tomorrow, you'll see uh, that they're concreted right up to the right up to the roof. So we'll just have a little walk round from ground level. I've got some drone footage that I'm uh, I'm putting in. The drone footage you're going to see straight after this is recorded today. So excuse the sun, it is very, very bright. So it's moving along quite nicely. I would imagine they're going to start doing the brickwork very, very soon. As you'll see, the piles of bricks are still here and they've not actually done anything to them yet. So that will, uh, that will start happening hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Probably be after they've done these uh, these posts. <coughs> yeah, we get a little bit of leakage. It's a small hole they're trying to get it in. Okay. 
So yeah, the roof guys have gone, but they've been uh, they've been busy today. They have done a heck of a lot, getting the uh, getting the struts up for the for the tiles, and we've just had a delivery, and I think it's a finishing board that goes round the edge, but I won't know until they start putting that up. So yeah, looking good, guys. Uh, I will be back down tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, there's no point me coming down in the morning because they, they won't have done anything extra to this. So I will speak to you in a second guys, take care, cheers now. Morning guys, it's uh, Thursday the 2nd of February and we came around this morning to water some tomatoes and when we turned up there was a rake of people here so I will spin you around and let you see what's happening. The roof guys are here and they've started doing the brickwork so I will just spin you around. Okay so piles of bricks gone, all spread out throughout the bottom floor. I've got the funniest feeling this is going to go up rather quick with the amount of people that are here doing the brickwork. There's little rakes in them. They're doing, they're doing this back area across here. Areas in here. Guy here. Guy here. Guy here doing the kitchen. More guys under here doing the underneath the living room floor. Yeah. For, for, for not a lot happening for the past couple of days, brickwork wise, because of the guys doing the roof, all of a sudden it's uh, it's all go. So I will bring you back a little bit later on, guys, and uh, we'll see we'll see how things are progressing. And I've got the funniest feeling they're going to progress rather quickly today. I'll speak to you in a few seconds, guys. Cheers. Hi, guys. <clears throat> so it's Thursday afternoon, and I will take you a little wander around see how the, the brickwork's going. Bearing in mind this has all got to get uh, concrete skimmed on the outside and finished. So the roof's looking good. I think we are getting a tile delivery sometime later today or tomorrow morning. And I think we're going to start tiling that roof tomorrow. So I'll take a wee wander around, starting bricking up the kitchen. There was supposed to be a door here. Uh, just to the, the left hand side of the, where those pipes are but we've decided to do away with that door there and the door is now going across <coughs> beside the, where the other blue pipes are because they're building us a Thai outdoor kitchen on the side of the house there which is going to go between the house and the, the wall here which is all going to be getting bricked up and roofed so we're going to have a second kitchen, just a little narrow kitchen on the outside so they're putting a door going into that kitchen from this end and then they're going to put a window at the front end uh, and we've decided to move that door so that it takes us straight out into the Thai kitchen and then we can exit from 
the, the back door on the, the Thai kitchen. It gives us a whole wall for using as work surface and storage area. So because we're using this area underneath as a storage area and you will see this is pretty much nearly all enclosed now they are putting glass uh, blocks in for like to give us some light you can't see through them so you can't see what's in there but uh, they give some light inside I'll stick you in while this guy's stopped grinding at the minute and we'll just uh, stick you under here so this is the area underneath the living room that we're going to use for storage, etc. So it's quite a big area. I can just stand in it, so I can probably get a workshop in here as well. They've given us a, quite a wide door here, so that we can store things like the motorbikes and that if we go away. We can get the motorbikes and things underneath the house and store them. So these, uh, these little windows look quite nice, give a nice little effect to the outside. So they've, uh, they've started up doing the little, the little gaps along the lower end of the living room. And this is, uh, this is going into the kitchen. So like I say, this is all going to get skimmed in there and finished up. And then we've got the little sticky out area at the back here where the, the pipes go down. And the roofs. The roof's coming on nicely. So, I will uh, catch you tomorrow guys. I'll stick the drone up I think and get some uh, some drone footage from up higher. See if we can get a better view of the roof and that. So yeah. start to take shape. Morning guys. Okay so it's a Monday morning. Uh, I never put a video out over the weekend because there was a festival on in the, the local town, uh, Tat Penom, and the guys had the weekend off so there was nobody here Saturday and Sunday. So nothing really progressed. The brickwork stopped because the guys weren't happy working underneath the guys doing the roof. So they were just here for a day. They've enclosed the space underneath the, the living room as you can see. And they've put some glass bricks in just to give me some light in there. So the guys are back on the roof and we're hoping that they're going to start tiling today. And when they start tiling, you will see a hyperlapse or a time lapse video of the tiles going on the roof. So I will talk to you in a bit guys, just in a few seconds. Hi guys. It's Monday, almost close of play today and the roofing guys have been here all day and they've been working on the, the roof. I will spin you around and let you see what they're doing and explain what the, there's four of them here and I'll explain what the four of them are doing so if you bear with me a second. Okay, so they have finished off the Shira eaves board going all the way around. They were here all morning doing that. They have put the, the last of the, the tile framework up and this guy across here uh, up to the top left, I don't know if you can see him, he is now going round and he is screwing the tile slats uh, all fully into place. They've just had the odd screw in them just to put them up while they've been lining everything up. So he's now going around putting all the screws in. There's two guys up on the roof here. One at the back you'll see doing a spot of welding and then there's another one up here on top of the roof. 
and these two guys are now doing the final welding of all the beams they did the living room earlier on so that has all been done all welded together and there's another guy up here I don't know if you can see him he's got a blue top on and he's been going round with red oxide paint and he's been painting up all the the final welds that have been done so I think these guys are going to be finished at the end of today and from my understanding which I've never really been right before in saying anything <laughs> so yeah my understanding is that the guys will be here tomorrow to start tiling now the the guys that did all the concrete in uh, have been here as well uh, all afternoon and they've finally put their little mini digger all together yeah they've finally taken their digger away but not before they have <coughs> dug out a big area here for a foundation another one here for a foundation and a little channel along here where the the pipework from this bathroom is going to go now the two holes I've dug for the foundation are for where they're going to be putting our outside Thai kitchen in in this little narrow area here so our kitchen is just going to consist of units along this area here and this area here we've moved the door from across in that corner to right here so you'll go out this door into the Thai kitchen out a door in the back of the Thai kitchen into the back beside where the pool is going to be now they were digging out here as well but I have no idea what they've been digging They've not been digging anything. I thought they were digging. I think what they've just done is they've just leveled a lot of stuff off. <clears throat> so I think the the tanks are going to go in this area here. So yeah, that's it for uh, for Monday, guys. Like I say, nothing happened at the weekend. I will spin you back round in a second and let you see. Yes. Yeah, so uh, like I say, nothing happened at the weekend. So. A lot's happened today, so I will see you tomorrow, which will be in a second for you guys, but a night for me. I'm not going to put this video out until I've done a time-lapse video of them tiling. I came around this morning and set up for a time-lapse video because I'm, I believed they were going to be starting the tiling, but they didn't. So I sat here all morning, it's absolutely scorching, and I was dripping wet sitting in the back of my truck with my camera on the gimbal in time-lapse. And nothing happened so I'll be back tomorrow uh, to do a time-lapse video okay so finally got some uh, time-lapse video done it's Wednesday about lunchtime the 8th and like I said the weekend there was nobody out because of the festival that was on Monday the guys finished off uh, as you saw earlier on in the video doing the shearer board and, and the final welding and everything yesterday I was in my bed all day everybody's been down with some kind of bug or flu or something so yesterday I never went round at all but all they did yesterday was they transported all the tiles up onto the roof and set them up in nice little piles ready for tiling so they've been tiling all morning and in this little time lapse you will see that they complete this end of the, the roof, or this side of the roof. I stopped the time lapse because they, they finish up for the lunch. Uh, I will uh, try and catch some more of that time lapse this afternoon. So yeah, sit back and enjoy the time lapse. It's only about seven minutes. Uh, but I think all in all, there was about two hours worth of recording while they were uh, fitting the tiles. So I will see you in a second, guys, cheers.
Hi guys. <clears throat> okay, so where we are at the minute. It's Wednesday afternoon, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and it is absolutely scorching here. The weather's been going up and down like a bloody yo-yo, it's been unbelievable. So I was round this morning and did a time-lapse video on the, the roof at the, the right hand side. I'll take a walk around shortly and let you see everything that's happened pretty much today. And I think you'll be surprised. Now I went away for a couple of hours. I went round to Chrissy's, I had a couple, couple of cups of coffee, went round, had some lunch, and I've come back round. And they've started on the opposite side of the roof above the bedrooms. And they're pretty much three quarters of the way through that, so no time lapse of that one I'm afraid. But you get the gist of uh, what's happening with the time lapse video that you've seen. I'm not going to do the whole roof, you've seen it all before. This video is far too long as it is, it's, it's probably near enough 30 minutes. So I will spin you around guys and let you see what's happening. I'll take a walk through. It's a little bit dusty at the minute because they're, they're sweeping up uh, and throwing things off the, the bedroom floors like dust and everything. It's just everywhere. So I'll spin you around guys and let's see what's happening. Okay, so that's the bit of the roof that I did the time lapse on this morning. This bit here, they're pretty much uh, three quarters of the way through, or just over half. I'll take a wee wander around the side here and you'll be able to actually see it. I'll go past my cherry tree here. It's a Thai cherry tree, they taste terrible. So yeah, I didn't expect them to be moving on to this side and they're rattling on with that. So, and you'll be able to see that the walls are uh, are doing pretty well here as well. Now you'll see every so often when they go up the walls, they put a concrete, uh, a reinforced concrete beam round just to, just to support it. Now upstairs in the bedroom, there's actually two rows of bricks here, so they've got a cavity in between. And they're doing the same thing every so often. They're, they're putting like a reinforced concrete beam, beam across uh, and that holds the two, the two cavities together. So that, I was a bit worried thinking that the walls were just going to be this one thin brick, but it's not, not upstairs anyway. They're certainly, uh, they're certainly doing two, two rows. <coughs> So we'll take a wee wander into the kitchen. You'll be able to see this a little bit better now. Things are not looking quite as big now that there's walls up. So we've got the one window in the back which will look out onto where the pool's going to be. That area there was going to be a door, and this window was going to be further to the left. But like I said before, we've uh, we've moved the door, so the doors the doors in here, and that'll take us through the Thai kitchen. So the kitchen's going to be in this area here, and I'm thinking about putting a like a breakfast bar in, sort of just at the side of the left hand side of the steps there, coming out, sort of enough area to seat maybe four people round. So yeah, kitchen, nearly done, nearly bricked up. This area in here is a complete and utter waste of space. I wish I'd thought about it before, because what I would have done was, this is this, this cavity that goes down the back, and there's nothing in here apart from these pipes down the right hand side. Now if I'd really thought about it, I would have got them to put shelving in here, and sort of made an opening big enough to get a couple of ovens in because I could have got a couple of ovens in here up in the, totally out the road. Too late now, they've built the wall, so 
I should have thought about it before, I suppose. So we've got the stair going up. We're working on the walls in the, the living room. You can see the where the windows are going to be. They're, uh, they're long, full-length windows. Uh, and there's lots of them. Plenty of light in. Now the good thing is this is the, the non-sunny side of the house. So we're not going to get the sun blazing in the windows for the living room. Yeah, in the morning we'll get them blazing in the patio door, but there's there's a roof above it, so it'll keep the sun pretty much out. There's going to be a window in the back there as well. And obviously this little area here is the, the downstairs toilet. So yeah, they're cracking on with the walls here. <laughs> Sweaty cup. <sighs> okay guys, I'm going to come to an abrupt end here. Let's like see, this video is going to be about 30 minutes long, but it has been about 10 days. The weekend off and then the Monday I was round and then yesterday I was just in my bed all day, so nothing done. I'm feeling a little bit better anyway. So thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you gave me a, a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, possibly here. So I will see you next week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will talk to you very soon.